Hey everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Barker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make a little Ghirardelli holder um, using the Celebrate uh, with Celebration Tag Dies. It's actually this one. It's kind of a gift card holder pocket. I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a box. Um, I, I'm also using the um, Be Jolly stamp from Celebrate with Tags. And I am using the wreath dies from the Cottage Wreath Bundle. All right, let's make our box first, okay? You're gonna need to cut out a real red tag, right? Um, it's a gift card pocket thing, thingy. <laughs> so cut that out, but don't fold it on that score line. Get that score line, and I have a bunch of things here on my Simply Score that we don't need. Get that score line right there and line it up so that you can make a score line on half an inch on this side and half an inch on this side, okay? Like that. Now, we've got another piece that is six and three eighths by three and three fourths. On the short side, you're gonna score it at seven eighths and two and seven eighths. On the long side, score it at two and three fourths and three and five eighths. Okay, now we're gonna do some cutting and some folding. Let me get all the things that I need. The first thing I want you to do is to cut off these side flaps right here. See how we have these sides right here? So just take your scissors or your trimmer and cut those off so that it's the same on both sides, okay? And then we're gonna burnish that line, burnish that line. That score line that the die made, don't fold that. Okay, now this is the box part. So with your bone folder, get those lines nice and crisp. It'll do a much better job than your fingers will do. All right, now, this box is pretty much not gonna be seen except for the very sides. So I'm not gonna worry too much about how perfect it is or isn't. I'm gonna take some tear and tape and I'm gonna put the tear and tape over on this side. And we're gonna get another piece of tear and tape and put it over here on this side. And then we're gonna peel off that backing. Okay, and my tear and tape's too long, so when I do that, I just fold that over. Okay, get those. Peel that over. Now, take those little sides, and actually, what you can do with those little tabs is just put a little bit of stamp and seal and fold those up into the other sides. But this one, we're gonna fold around, and it's gonna hug those sides like that. Tear and tape's a really strong tape. This is gonna keep your box from popping open. All right, now, you can use tear and tape here, or you can use Tombow, whatever you want. I'll use tear and tape since that's what I have. And we're gonna peel these off. I always don't wanna use tear and tape in the video because it takes longer than the other adhesives, but it really is such a good adhesive. Let's see, maybe on the other side, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just use stamp and seal. All right, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. All right, now, I think we will do that. Put your adhesive here in the middle like that. Lay this down, get it nice and centered, which mine isn't quite centered. Let's move it over in the middle as much as we can. Push that down, and then you're gonna fold the sides up. Okay, so see how we've got that? And I'm just gonna use regular adhesive over here like this. Okay, and there's your box. I mean, how easy is that, right? So you can put a couple of Ghirardelli's in here, and then I'm gonna use some of our real red ribbon. And the holes are already there for you. The die makes those holes. Feed that ribbon through there, if I can get it to do what it's supposed to do. There we go. And 
tie your bow. So these boxes are really easy to make. And I think that you could make lots of them relatively quickly. All right, there we go. Now let's decorate the front. I used um, the gingham cottage on my sample, but honestly, I'm almost out of that paper. So I'm switching over to my sweet candy cane designer series paper. This is a great way to use up your Christmas paper, making treats using different papers. Okay, so now let's do our die cutting. We're gonna need to stamp the image and it has a matching die. So let's do that first. And then we'll do our wreaths as well. So we've got our Be Jolly, and I'm just going to stamp it in real red on basic white. For our two wreaths, let's grab those dies. I am going to use adhesive sheets. I didn't use adhesive sheets the first time I made this, and I realized that gluing these wreaths together would be a lot easier had I used my adhesive sheets. So I'm gonna take that, peel it back, lay down my garden green cardstock, okay? So that now my garden green cardstock basically has become a sticker, all right? And we're gonna cut these from here. Now these wreaths, when you cut them, they're gonna have a lot of what I call doodads coming out, all the little things. Um, it's gonna make it a little more persnick persnickety um, to cut just because it's a little bit thicker. So what I like to do is turn my dies over like that. They're, the cut side is face up and I'm gonna lay my paper down on top, all right? For some reason, this works better for our more intricate dies. It adds more even pressure on the bottom, which causes them to cut out spectacularly. All right, let's cut this one out really quick. The die for this is also in the Celebration Tags dies. So this one is an easy cut, real skinny little banner. Run that through. like that. All right, now I've got my die brush attachment for your my take your pick tool. And we're gonna try to get as many of those doodads out as we can this way. Looks like they're all coming out really well. Okay, and I've got my other take your pick tool. You can put these on opposite ends. I just don't have my setup. Look at that, beautiful came out just gorgeous. Okay, let's do this one. See if we got them all out. And there we go. All right, so we have two garden green wreaths. And this one has these little things that you can kind of get, you know, go around and have them kind of separate. It gives you more dimension for your wreath. I'm not gonna do all of them just for the sake of the video, but go around like that and have them come sit up and stand out a little bit. All right, we're gonna take this adhesive backing and peel this off. Okay, and I'm gonna adhere this right in the middle of my box. Okay, now we'll do the same thing over here. If you have any trouble, grab your take your pick tool and just very gently get that adhesive sheet to come up. A little bit more over here. Turning these into this, a sticker gives you a much easier alternative to using glue. If you use glue on here, I guarantee you, you're gonna make a mess because it's so thin, the glue is gonna squirt out and be in between all those little tiny leaves and, and you're not gonna like it. So use the adhesive sheet. 
and then set that down right there. And now we have this beautiful, full Christmas wreath. All right, so we'll get our Be Jolly sentiment. And we use dimensionals for that. Right there, we're gonna just put that, you can put it in the middle or you can put it down towards the bottom. And then I've got my holiday sequins and we'll just add in some of these here. Now, make sure you hop over to my blog. I've got a complete supply list as well as the measurements that you'll need and two other cottage wreath projects with videos. Okay, there you go. These would make cute little table favors too for the holidays. If you've got maybe a luncheon or um, some kind of, I always think of the teachers, some kind of holiday luncheon for the teachers, putting these at everybody's seat would be a really nice treat. You could even punch a little circle out here and say to and from. All right, you guys, I hope you like that project. Make sure you hop over to my blog, check out the PDF and give my YouTube channel a subscribe, please. Thanks everybody and Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.